beautiful people, it's your home girl, my shameless all up in your building, and this is my first video of 2020. First one of the decade. If you're an 80s baby, that makes you all of this, and then some. And you're still young and fly and cute, boo. Um, so where have I been? Well, first of all, how have you been? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your big 2020 uh, mission goal is. And for me, a little rewind. I was in Toronto for the holidays. I went to Ottawa. We're here at Park Omega. I'm gonna go inside and buy some carrots. There's gonna be buffalo, bison, deer. Oh, yo, we break the carrots in half, eh? Yeah, we're breaking them in half. We're gonna go a little bit forward. <laughs> oh, he drew right on me. Bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but can we have the windows open? Okay, watch out. Its head is too big to fit in here, right? Yeah. Wow, buddy, you're so big. Wow. And I got to do that with my boo, my boo thing. Holidays with the family, so much love, so much support. And that was for two weeks. And then I got back here to LA. I got a flu. I got, I don't know, what a, whatever, TMI. Um, but for 2020, yo, what do we have? What do we have? Some of my missions and goals this year are to not just finish writing. That writing needs to be, this is the artist in me. I'm just like, not only dragging my feet, but like being a perfectionist to the point that it's not, it's no bueno. Um, so not just finishing that this month, but also filming that. That's my big goal that I'm putting out there into 2020. I am filming my first scripted comedy, hey -o, and keep on my routine. I feel like because I moved and I had to re-nest, re because we women like to do that, I haven't been able to have my routine with my travels, my family, and being sick. So I want to get back onto my routine, but I also want to just not beat myself up. I sometimes find that if we're not where we want to be, we like punish ourselves for like, oh, I'm, I'm not, you know, hustling, I'm just being lazy. It's like, okay, well, be lazy and own that. And then when you're ready, then own the next chapter. Cause I feel like I like to beat myself up for wherever I'm at. And I'm just like, girl, you're sick. What are you gonna do? Just be sick. <laughs> so those are some like tidbits of things I've learned. Who? I have my Shameless Sunday series on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram because I upload Shameless Sundays every other Sunday. And the conversation I had there was, what are your beliefs and are they helping you or not helping you? And Sometimes I find that, this is gonna recap what I just said over there, but sometimes I feel that we have this spoken belief that we say we believe, but then our day-to-day -day doesn't align with that. So write out the belief systems that you have and write out the ones that you're not even aware of and you can look at your actions. So I believe I'm too old, I'm too this, I'm too that. We don't realize that when we say, I'm this, I'm that, um, if it's hurting us, why are we believing this? Why choose a belief system? Because it's a choice. Your life, your world, in terms of what's happening in here and in here, is up to you. And sometimes we're fed these ideas, sometimes, all the time, girl, we are fed these ideas that this is how the world is. At this point in your life, you're too, too young, too old, too whatever. And I think it's worth exploring and examining who told you and why are you choosing to believe this? And is this belief helping you? And if it is, great, run with it. And if it isn't, dash that ish away. It's not, it's not doing you any good if you feel miserable and if it's hurting you or other people around you and I've been watching you, <laughs> so let me just <laughs> highlight. <laughs> if you believe you're a bad person because you did something bad to somebody, like you're not a bad person, you're lost, but you need help. <laughs> so get help. 
There is nothing wrong with asking someone, a trained professional especially, for help. I use psychology today when I'm looking for a therapist. I think it's an amazing resource. I used it when I was in New York. I used it over there when I was looking for a, um, a, a marriage specialist. And at the time when I was married, my partner didn't want to go, so I just went by myself. And that's perfectly fine too. So looking for a therapist who has a set of beliefs that are in alignment with yours. So in New York, I did that. In Los Angeles, I did that. And I actually did look for someone in Toronto and Vancouver for friends. But what I love about it is it has their profile pic as well as a backstory that they've written. And I do find it helpful. Sometimes we need a therapist that either looks like us, believes in what we believe, like something that is relatable. For me, I'll speak for me, to have a therapist who's a straight white male walking me through my life and my struggles as an independent woman looking for love. And the same to the men out there. If you're a man who's looking for help, whether it's like for anger or for, well, whatever the case is, it does help you uh, if you speak to a man who gets it. So yes, get help, um, examine your beliefs, and are those beliefs helping or hurting you? I'll be very candid with you. It is scary letting go of something you believed in for so long, even if that belief at this time in your life is not helpful. There's something comforting in staying in what you know and what you understand, and it's scary stepping into this whole world of like, what do you mean Santa Claus doesn't exist? I'm not saying, stop believing in God, believe in God, don't you dare. <laughs> what I'm saying is, if, you are puni if your belief system is punishing you and making you feel awful about yourself for just being you, then we need to examine that. And as a social experiment, I love to ask questions, you know, what would happen if I shamelessly promoted myself? What would happen if I decided to put this on the coat rack and adopt this new system and try it out and see how your life um, becomes possibly better, the same or worse. Just try. I'm just saying, just try new things. It's 2020. We're in a new decade. <laughs> this is all new, 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 new. So let's just be new. Let's re-energize. Let's revitalize. Let's rebirth and reborn ourselves. And I'm sending you all the positive new vibe energy into this year, this decade. And I'm super excited for everything you're going to accomplish this year and for the years to come. I love you, booze. Until next time, remember to do you, be you, and stay true. Be shameless. Aji, yo. Aji.